This set of dishes is from my childhood. It is at least 40 years old. We have been using them as our everyday plates in this house when we moved in three and a half years ago. I unpacked here on YouTube with you and we started using them then. So we have been using them for the last three and a half years. Here's my problem with these plates. The glaze has started to wear off. The paint is actually getting lighter, especially on these often used big plates. And I have a concern about the toxicity of vintage china plates. So I bought some lead test swabs just to kind of justify my decision to get rid of these plates a little bit more. I'm gonna take you through that journey of decluttering our plates in this video. How are you feeling about this project? I feel like I got a lead weight on my shoulders. Oh my gosh, okay. Maybe we should test your mug. I don't wanna know. <laughs> I like this mug. So with these test swabs, you wet it under the sink, you just kind of shake off the water a little bit, and then you swab the parts that you want to test. So we swabbed the paint on the plates and then the gold trim on the outside of the plates, which is also wearing. Now, to be fair, we put these in the dishwasher. You're probably not supposed to. So I am sure that is what is compromising this, but that is a lifestyle choice. And it, it, Putting them, hand washing our plates every day definitely is not a lifestyle fit for our family. They're not changing color at all. Pyrex put out a statement that this particular pattern of vintage Pyrex uh, bakeware, cookware should not be used for food and should only be used for decoration. We actually wanted to test this to use as a comparison against the plates. It looks like it's already much darker than the other one, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, look at that. So that, yep, that's changing to red. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll leave that go for a bit. Yeah. So do, does that mean that these plates don't have lead? That this paint they use 50 Hold years? Hold it up against it. <clears throat> doesn't have lead? Got a, it's like right in the middle. Wow. As compared to the side that says no lead, it's significantly darker than where it says no lead, but it's probably right about... Kind of right in so the it middle. has some lid Maybe, detected, but, it, but it's not. But it's not like. But it's not red, red, red. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we knew that the, the pirates announced that this has lead. Hmm. That is not what I was expecting. You can see the color difference. The one on the left is darker. And that was from this one. So the only one that really is dark is the vintage Pyrex. And it didn't turn red, right. it's just dark. So it just means it contains some lead. Yeah, or, so, or it means this. I mean, this guy didn't change at all. This, um... So you can tell, we use the big plates all the time. And you can tell the smaller plates still have their paint and the bigger plates, the, the paint has started to wear. So whether or not it's lead, I, I don't like that. And the, the glaze, the glaze, well, this has the stuff from the, the glaze on the plates has started to kind of like flake a bit. And there's also cracks in the plates. So for me, even though the lead results were inconclusive, I would still say, I'm gonna to switch to the Corel and just get plain white glass plates that have been deemed safe by the Lead Safe Mama on her website. These are the ones that she recommends. Um, and you guys have actually suggested Corel in the past when I've questioned plates before. So right now this is decorative. Because of the announcement from Pyrex that said, do not use vintage Pyrex for food. Um, I am going to, I am going to buy plates. I'm, I'm just going to do it. And the question now is, what do I do with these? Do I donate them? I would love to know in the comments what you guys think. So if I donate them, I could put a note that's, you know, just decoration purposes only whether or not that note stays with the plates is you know it's up to the universe i guess to figure that part out or 
do I just dispose of them? What would you do with the old plates that have been compromised from use and wear over four or five decades? And so now when I think about it, I'm go it's a lot to throw out. Ooh. Ooh, let's test that. That's my soup tureen from Pioneer Woman. Let's test that too. Okay, so I did the inside one and now I'm doing the outside. Now, um, I hand wash this. I do not put this in the dishwasher. The plate, the paint is not flaking off at all. The, the um, glaze that's over it is not tarnished or compromised or breaking apart in any way. This is a newer item. I think I've had it for about a year. So the test results are probably going to also be inconclusive. Testing this helped me think it through a little bit and also like bring me back to reality, okay? My plates are worn, well-worn, well-used. The glaze that's on top is breaking down. Therefore, whatever toxicants are inside the paint of those red roses will leach onto the food that is put onto the plate. The end. It doesn't matter if my lead test result, which I was expecting to be profoundly red, um, it doesn't matter to me because the condition of the plates that has been passed down through the generations for decades and decades has degraded enough that I have a concern about the toxicity of the plates and therefore I'm replacing the plates. Done. Um, the soup terrine, the glaze is still new. Uh, the paint is not chipping off, which often happens with Pioneer Woman stuff. Um, so for now, I'm okay with it. And it will go on to my list of long-term swaps that I'll end up making in my kitchen. So when that soup terrine does become of a concern, which now my education of this is making me more self-aware of what I'm putting food into and onto. And I'll and I'll, re I'll just replace things with glass, stainless steel, wood, in my kitchen specifically, glass, stainless steel, wood, and then for plates, the Corel Vitrelli, I don't know if I'm saying, Vitrel, I don't know if I say that right. That has been deemed safe by Let's Safe Mama. So I'm gonna make the swap for plates and bowls officially to that. And on this journey of learning the things that I want to change for the betterment of my family, I'm, I'm educating myself on the things that I need to know and what to look for, what to pay attention to, and what to ultimately save money for and replace. And at this point, going in the budget will be new plates. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with that decision. I'm gonna shop for the plates and replacement plates and do that. Um, and it's just one category at a time is the way I declutter, it's the way I organize, and it's the way that I have been researching um, non-toxic swaps for my family. Here's another thing I realized. We don't use these, these, or these. We don't use these like shallow salad bowls. We don't use the teacups or the saucers. I was using them as plates for the dog. And we don't use these small like salad plates. I do use serving plates, so I need to replace the serving bowls. I probably have enough serving plates for now, um, but we do use big plates. And I definitely don't use like 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, I guess. Um, I don't use that many. So I am replacing all of this with eight big plates. And then I already have six small bowls in there. There's four and then there's two in the dishwasher. So it's actually an opportunity to have less in the cabinets, which will be easier to organize and deal with. I'm just gonna have eight plates right there, which means that whole shelf now is essentially empty for the soup tureen, which I washed and washed. So I bought eight plates. Amazon had the cheapest price compared to Walmart. And so I got eight plates here. I may order another eight. I want to wait and see if this suffices first. 
because we really didn't use that entire stack before. This is now empty, but my husband did say that he feels like we need the small, uh, smaller size salad plates. Um, he felt like he uses them for the kids quite a bit. So I wanna get those and, and we'll just store those right there. But that whole cabinet had plates, um, sa small salad plates, the bowls at the saucers and the teacups. All that is gone. And this is really essentially what we use. Here, it's just the big plates. We also have a kid's cabinet down here that's at a height the kids obviously can manage safely. And in here we have five of these heart plates and then the Corel bowls, six bowls go here as well, and then cups for them. So that's our, that's our dishware. I also purchased four two quart serving bowls with the winter frost white in the curl. And that is replacing the serving bowls and plates that I had before. Making the decision to declutter, but not actually removing it from my house means that it's been sitting here on this counter for three days uh, while I waited for my eight new plates to get here. But I'm glad, I'm glad that I hadn't thrown it in the garbage. That was my initial thought was to throw it in the garbage. Um, but I did a little research and played around on Google and found that replacements.com has this pattern and a lot of it is out of stock. So I submitted a request on replacements.com with my pattern and it says I'll get a response in seven days. So I'm going to hang on to this and wait for their response because except for these big plates, the other plates are in uh, suitable condition. Uh, it, it had a couple of this pattern available on replacements.com and uh, it, it it gave a, uh, it broke it down in sections. Like this one is in the best condition and this is the price. These are, uh, have slight imperfections um, and it's this price. And these have even more imperfections and are this price. And then these are all the ones that are out of stock. So if they decide my pattern is something they want to buy i'm just going to sell it to them i don't even care to make money off the deal i mean they could have it for free um I'll, I'll take money if they're willing to give it to me but i was just going to donate throw them away so um, i'm going to wait and see what replacements responds with and i'll do a follow-up video if they decide to buy my plates buy this pattern i will let you know that i feel good about that we'll see <laughs> Thank you for being here in this video with me today. Here's a video I did about kitchen organization for spices, uh, silverware, and utensils recently. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.